I'm going to give you an overview of GCSE Fine Art. The course that we run at Fairfield is through AQA and the course code is 8202. You can find more in-depth details on the AQA website. On the screen in front of you, you can see a quote from AQA defining the meaning of the Fine Art course. Fine Art practice is defined here as the need to explore an idea convey an experience or respond to a theme or issue of personal significance. Now I will take you through some of the topics that we cover in the course. A brief outline of some of the things that pupils will study in year 10 are mandalas and portraiture. And through these topics, pupils will learn a variety of different skills from collage to sewing, weaving, photo manipulation and learning different drawing techniques. At the end of year 10 and going into year 11, pupils study German Expressionism and this develops into a printmaking unit. Through this, pupils learn different forms of intaglio printing, including lino printing. In January of year 11, pupils then begin their exam unit. For this, pupils will choose a theme from an exam paper sent by AQA and they will then develop their own project. There are usually around seven themes to choose from. All of the skills that pupils develop from the start of the course in year 10 then feed into this final exam project at year 11. You can also see some examples on the screen of work created by pupils during this course. If you have any more questions about the type of work that pupils produce, please do ask any of the art teachers who will be happy to show you some examples. Now some information about the, how the course is assessed. 60% of a pupil's grade is made up from the course that they produce and the production of this starts from the first lesson in year 10. So everything that a pupil makes in their class time will count towards their GCSE. Pupils work on the coursework part of the GCSE from September in year 10 up till around Christmas time in year 11. The work is then marked by teachers internally moderated and locked away um, securely. From January in year 11, pupils begin on the exam unit. This generally runs from 1st of January to when pupils have their exam, which is usually around the end of April. The exam unit is worth 40% of the final grade. The final exam is 10 hours long. It takes place in the art classrooms in school across two days, and it takes place within normal school hours. So pupils will start their exam when the normal school day begins and they will have break and lunch times as usual and they will leave school at a usual time. The exam conditions only take place in the classroom when the invigilators begin the exam. So pupils do not need to be in exam conditions at break and lunch times. During the exam, pupils will create a final piece. So from the starting point they choose in January, they will have developed a project and look to artists and develop their own ideas. They will plan a final piece and then they will create this during the 10 hours. So they will walk into the exam knowing exactly what it is they're going to do and the materials they're going to use. On the screen, you can also see four different boxes saying AO1, AO2, AO3 and AO4. These are the four assessment objectives that pupils are measured against. A more detailed breakdown of this can be found through the AQA website. Our first project in year 10 is designed to make sure that pupils have an in-depth understanding of what these four different aspects of the assessment criteria mean. Generally speaking, AO1 is about the way that a pupil researches artists and uses external sources within their own ideas. AO2 is the way that a pupil can experiment and refine their work. AO3 is the quality and appropriateness of drawings and photographs that support a pupil's ideas. And AO4 is a development of a final piece, bringing together all their ideas towards the end of a project. So that's a brief overview of how pupils are marked within the course. What I'm going to talk about now is post-16 links and also career opportunities. The Fine Art GCSE is a gateway into many different A-level um, courses and also BTEC art and design courses. It's a really good starting point if you're not quite sure the A-level that you might want to take when you um, progress to the next stage of your education. The fine art course can lead really nicely into photography, fashion design, textile and surface design, um, photography and fine art as well. 
You can also see on the screen some different examples of career options um, following further education in art and design courses. And these are just a few examples of career routes that one could take do after doing um, an art and design GCSE. And on this slide, there are some really interesting figures showing the contribution to the UK economy that creative industries make. If you would like any more information about post-16 links or career opportunities, please do contact one of the art staff and they will be very happy to direct you towards more sources of information on this. And here is a visualisation of how the creative industries affect our lives every day and some of the products that we're all using that were made within these careers. Some additional information that might be helpful if you're thinking about choosing an art and design GCSE about the type of equipment that would be helpful for you guys to have for this course. Mostly we ask pupils to work in A3 sketchbooks. You can buy your own sketchbook. You can also purchase it through the school. At the start of the GCSE year in year 10, we put together a basic pack of all the things that we think will be really helpful for pupils to be able to work at home on their GCSE coursework. This can vary slightly year to year, but generally it will always include um, a plastic A3 carrier bag for you to be able to carry your work to and from school, regardless of the weather. Fine liners, a glue stick, rubber sharpener, scissors, watercolour tray, paint brushes. Sometimes it also includes acrylic and maybe even oil pastels. We try to choose the items that we think will be most helpful to pupils. You can ask for more examples um, of materials that we recommend for pupils from your art teacher anytime. A question we get asked quite a lot is about homework and how much you're expected to complete. We would recommend that you spend a minimum of an hour a week working on your art coursework. This might be working on specific tasks that your, your teachers have asked you to do. It might also be general work completing pages. It's important on choosing to do this GCSE that you're happy to commit to that type of time outside of lesson time, and that will help you to achieve your full potential in this course. It's also worth noting that a quarter of your grade is assessed on the way that you write in your sketchbook. So these might be annotations relating to an artist's work where you're analysing the work that they've created. These might also be notes about your own work where you're reflecting on experiments and thinking about the direction you're going to go into next. We encourage pupils to think of their sketchbooks as a journey and you need to be able to document your journey clearly. And this might be through sketches and diagrams, but also through writing. And on the screen, you can see some examples of what writing might look like in different students' sketchbooks. If you would like to see any more examples of GCSE sketchbooks, please ask one of the art teachers in the department and they'll be happy to show you a sketchbook. And similarly, if you have any more questions, please do ask any member of the art department. Thank you for watching.